Okay. Rafi Mediavilla from criticologos.com. Frank, uh, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the movie. We have spoken in the past. I'm always excited to talk to you. And, and, and it's, all we are, it's always a treat. And congratulations on the movie. Thank you, brother. And thank you for watching the movie. And thank you for even uh, talking to me. Listen, I'm coming to you straight from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I think you already know where I'm going with my first question, and I have to ask, I know this movie was filmed in Colombia and Puerto Rico, obviously, L.A. I, I, tell me about your experience recording the island. How was it? The weather, the food, uh, how was it? <laughs> oh, it's always great. You know, I, 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 I shot a movie right after this movie in Puerto Rico, which is coming out in December. I, I mean, I've spent so much time in Puerto Rico I've got lots of friends there. I love the food. I love the place. I train there. It's like my second home. I, you know, I'm a New Yorker. New York and Puerto Rico is a, you know, is a thing. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. Listen, we always, I always speak about the roles. Then it's, the, I always speak to you about how this sort of action-packed roles they, they come to you so organically, so naturally, and it, it's always interesting to to speak about how how, how you come about into different these different roles and how you make them your own. And I wonder, you know, this is some some something that is so yours. Are you comfortable enough, you know, telling the director, hey, can we try this and that, given that. How many action roles that you have done through your career? Yeah, you know, it's uh, that's a great question. And you know, before before I take a movie, especially a smaller movie, a lot of times I have a little bit of say in who directs the movie. And in this movie, I I, I pick John Swab. But before we even get to set or you know talk about the script, I I kind of lay it out and I say, hey, this is the way I work, and this is what's successful for me. I'm very involved in any kind of fighting or any kind of stunts. I have my own kind of ideas. Uh, I'm, I'm open to all suggestions, but I just want you to know if something does not fall into what I feel is authentic, I don't do it. And uh, whether that's a big movie or a small movie, and that's how we start the relationship because I, I do have a lot of experience with all of the physical parts of filmmaking. Of course. Hey, I gotta mention, this does not, not feel like a small movie to me. This is a huge movie. The story is huge. The yeah. casting, to me, the casting blew me away. And I gotta talk about it. Because to me, I don't think, obviously, this is, uh, there's a lot of heart behind what, what the story that we, we're, start, we're trying to tell with all the action. But yeah. I, to me, there wasn't a dull moment. There should have not been a dull moment in set with Andy Garcia, with Mackay Five. I was like, Wow, I, I'm so glad to see Mackay Pfeiffer there with Melissa Leo, with uh, uh, obviously Eden, uh, uh, Eden and, and Juan Pablo Raba, yeah. uh, somebody I oh. also love to talk to. Walk us through a day on set with this amazing cast. So wh what happened now? How, how did it come about? You know, again, we had some control over who we cast in the movie. And these are people we, John and I have both worked with, you know. Uh, except for Andy. Andy and I had was supposed to do a couple of movies. We've developed a relationship, one of my favorite actors. And it's a testament to John Swab and what he's done in the past because to get a guy like Andy Garcia or an, or an Oscar-winning Melissa Leo, the director has had to do something that they go, okay, I'm safe with this guy. I can do this, right? Uh, so, you know, it all goes back to the director. But we assemble these people knowing that they're just going to elevate everything we do. And I think everybody did exactly that. Yeah, everybody did a great job. Even Josh Hutcherton, they did every, everybody did a great job, man. I was Josh blown away by who, I had my doubts about Josh. I really did, in all honesty, and he blew me away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even Eden, I loved Eden. I, I mean, he, he has a chance on her blood. There was, there, there was no, there was no uh, and I love seeing Mackay Pfeiffer. I was so glad to see him there. The story, powerful story, and I think obviously we, it's this a it's a action thriller movie, but there's a, there's a lot there, the backstory is really impactful, and I, I know you're a busy guy, and all actors are busy guy, and you, we may not be uh, completely connected with what's happening in the world. Obviously, this is this was recorded before the last the last uh, election in Venezuela with Maduro, but there's a lot of it inside of it. How? How did did, did did you have some say in it? Did, did, did that did that draw, draw you into the story? Because to me, it, the story is really important that people grasp what it what they're trying to tell to to see what's a, a little bit a glimpse of what's happening in Venezuela. That's right, man. It's like when you sell your house, it's location, location, location. Making a movie, it's story, 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 script, script, script. John and I got a good script, and I think John and I then went into the script. And we wanted to make it better. 
and, and, and the way Venezuela is right now and what's going on politically and globally, economically, how their people are suffering and how dangerous it's become was, was we became the backdrop of this story. And I don't think people, especially in this country, realize what Venezuela is and how amazing mm. Venezuela is and how powerful Venezuela could be uh, given the opportunity to get away from the corruption. So, yeah, it was very intentional. All of the, the story, you know, some people think it's some, you know, some people will say, well, it's too slow. It's an action movie. I'm like, it's not an action movie. It's a mm -hmm. movie that has action in it. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So That's what I, I love the story of the thing. Um, I got to ask, and, and, and I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave you with this one. Um, I, I, I don't want to spoil this, but there, through the end of the movie, there's a, there's a question, there's an there's a interaction between you and, and with your characters and one Paula Rabas characters where he's speaking Spanish. He's like, I have no way of what, you're, what, you, were, what you were saying. Right. And he, he then later explained what he was saying in Spanish. Did you manage to learn some words in Spanish through the, the, the production or, or, yeah. or, or do you still yeah. have no clue Brother, what you're saying? I grew up with Puerto Ricans my whole <laughs> life. My whole life, my first girlfriend was Joan Rivera. So I, I, I know lots of words. I know lots of bad words and lots of good words. And, and uh, so, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, for me, it's going home. Puerto Rico's like going home to New York. Like I, it's such a close connection culturally to me. I grew up with mostly Puerto Rican people. And uh, so it's me to get the opportunity to go and work in Puerto Rico, a culture that is as close to mine almost, as close to me almost as my own culture from, from Italy. Uh, is, is a gift. You know, I, I consider myself pseudo Puerto Rican. <laughs> you are Puerto Rican. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, give, we'll give that to you. We'll give that to you. Frank, that's time for me. I, I absolutely love the movie. I put it up there with Civil War because of the topic that is in hand is so powerful. And congratulations on it once again. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you.